everybody. Welcome back to the show. Uh, this is Sharon. Of course, you already know that. And now my two co-hosts. This is Jamal. We back at it all the time. Always doing work 24-7. And this is TC. Come from work and come home and still doing work. Oh, wow. Well, everybody, everybody, everybody. We're talking about old Teflon Tiff. <laughs> Finally. Somebody been listening. Mm. Finally, yeah, they, no, I do it. finally they decided to do something about a Teflon tip. Teflon, wild dog, yard dog, frog eye tip. Wow. Really? <laughs> yeah. Teflon tip. Oh, dirty <laughs> dog tip. So listen to this news clip and we'll get back with you. Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard. Dane Placco has been following allegations of her misspending and joins us now with an update. Dane. Yeah, we've been reporting. Oh, before we sorry, we got this from uh, Fox 32 Chicago News. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. That's right. For nearly two years on allegations of corruption surrounding Henyard in her capacity as Dalton Mayor and Thornton Township uh, Supervisor. And now we've learned from multiple sources that federal agents are in fact interviewing witnesses mm. as part of a possible investigation that may or may not result in charges. Uh-oh. Did the FBI agents you talked to seem serious about? Yes, their, very serious. Their concerns? Very, very serious. Very. Uh, Lawrence Gardner owns a U-Haul rental and trucking business in South Suburban Dalton and says he went to the FBI several months ago frustrated that the village of Dalton would not renew his business license. Gardner says he's been harassed and his business raided and shut down by Dalton police. He believes because he refused to make a donation. And that's not because he didn't get a donation. See, that's what the mob, that's the mob do that. They, they send the strong arm mm -hmm. out to collect the money. That is mob, mob mentality. Oh, tell me here. She, she been looking at too many crime shows. Are doing too much cocaine, allegedly. I don't know. <laughs> Would you know something you don't know? I'm just talking. Oh, okay. that's that's druggy actions. No, that's that's, uh, that's uh, a criminal uh, behavior. Yeah, that's criminal, but that's the uh, that's uh, organized crime, like yeah. the mafia. Mm -hmm. She been watching too many uh, of those gangster shows that you like to watch, TC. Oh, you talking about the mob documentaries? Yeah, she must be watching mm -hmm. those. Yeah, well, with well, those eyes, she watching everything. Well, Yes, I said we going in on Tim. You you're fascinated yeah. by those eyes, ain't you? No, those eyes, you must she, have a, a she, thing she, about them she eyes. She can see four than an eagle can. You like those eyes? No, you you like those eyes. Cause you ain't commenting on them. You don't want to talk about them. Somebody gotta talk about them because y'all just lackly days go around here. Oh no. Yeah. You hear that big uh -huh. news? Uh, yeah. Pull up a dictionary now. <laughs> <laughs> but to a cynical. But finally something somebody doing something. Go ahead. About time. Event sponsored by Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard. And I talked to um, a couple of agents and I explained them what was going on. I gave them all my paperwork to show them what was happening in court and what was happening in Dalton. And they told me they was investigating and they would be in touch with me. Gardner is one of six people who confirmed mm -hmm. to Fox 32 that they've been interviewed by the FBI. Wow. Ranging from Dalton business owners to a former village employee and at least one public official. Mm. And we've learned the FBI has been using electronic surveillance as part of its investigation. Oh, Agents are asking tilt. questions about Henyard's alleged use of taxpayer mm. dollars and resources, including massive spending on out-of-town trips, hundreds of thousands of dollars in police overtime for her personal security detail, mm. using public mm. employees and tax dollars for personal benefit, and holding up licenses to certain businesses like this Dalton restaurant. I've heard rumors that say, hey, I'm on the wrong team. Dwayne Wood has mm. been trying to renew the business license for his restaurant for nearly a year. Mm. While he has mm. not talked to the FBI, he believes he can't get approved because he's wow. providing catering to several Dalton trustees who are engaged in a political fight with Henyard. I think I've been just targeted because of my association and affiliation with a certain group of people, you know. The I had trustees. the trustees. I, I, I cooked for the trustees. And in a lawsuit filed by a Dalton towing company, the owner alleges their business license has been held up because, quote, George's towing's refusal to support or contribute to Henyard. Oh, wow. Hey, that's something. Uh, what? Oh, yard she's, dog. Too. She's a monster. 
An ugly monster, that's it. I just said monster. <laughs> that's what I said, monster. Oh, I thought you said monster. No. That's, that's the wax out of your ears. Huh? <laughs> no. Go ahead. That? <laughs> I'll get the wax out of your ears. <laughs> now. Nah. Act like mafia, man. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all about to go to war. <laughs> right. But, but uh, th- that's crazy. Yes, it is. Not giving people their license for their business? And uh, demanding money? That's my mentality, <laughs> all right. Yeah. If you don't get it, you can't get the... Well, I won't renew your license if, if you if you don't give me my money. No, give me what you want me. If you don't let if you don't land on my uh, lily pad, you can't get no money. Wow. <laughs> well, our song is that the song she did play is "Pay Me What You Owe Me." Every single residence. I mean, this she's just going through wiping out business, trying to who can't yeah. talk. Yeah, I ain't destroying the time. I can't talk. <laughs> Yeah, I know. She done used up all the money. Now she's closing down the business. She don't want nobody to, if you don't do what she said, you don't get no money. Pay me what you owe me. That's what she said. Dress and, like Nino Brown. Pay and, me what you owe me. And then the last one that said um, the town uh, uh, skipped getting their car's vehicle. I guess Tiffany Henry getting her car vehicle's repossessed because Tiffany Henry, I guess she threw out some money. Wait, no. <laughs> Do you know what what kind of disgrace that would be mm. if all the police cars mm. got towed away? Was well, six police cars and six public works vehicles? That'd be wide open for criminals. Every criminal in Chicago will come to Dalton. No, no, we don't know how long it's gonna take, but finally they doing something. Yeah, at least they they interviewing people, and then they got. I wonder what kind of surveillance they got on. I mean, who knows? What you about to say, um, TC? I mean, at last, the FBI is doing something. At least something is. At least something gets started. Well, see, I, if the major TV stations, news stations hadn't take uh, taken over, probably nothing would have been done. Probably, I believe that. Yeah, YouTubers putting out stuff. Hmm. You know. Uh-huh. Who watch that? Then mm. the news stations reporting on her. Everybody found well, wait a minute. This this seems like a crime. Shucky boy. ducky quack quack. Hamburger. <laughs> no sir, no mail, no turkey. I do believe old Teflon Tiff, they gonna make an example of her. I believe so too. Let's play some more political campaign. In a statement, Dalton trustee Jason House reacted to the news of the FBI's involvement. We welcome any investigation that will bring transparency on how taxpayer dollars are being spent. Our residents deserve this level of financial transparency. We reached out to the FBI, which said it is policy for the agency. Yeah, the the FBI ain't gonna tell you not. No, not to comment yeah. on the nature, existence, or not. About the time something really done about the wild yard dog. Well, yeah, I, at least they looking into mm. something. I mean, I, I I think just the mere fact that her trying to extort money out of these businesses and then shutting them down, that's enough mm. right there. Yeah, that's true. Or what you call that, Rico charges? Yeah, Rico charges. She's a, she's a gangster. And she don't, evidently she thinks she can just run over that mm-hmm. town because it's predominantly black. She feel like she can do whatever she want and nobody going to do anything about yeah, it. That's true. I mean, why do mm-hmm. you do a traffic ticket, $500 mm-hmm. for a traffic ticket? Why do you do that? <laughs> why do you do that? That's multiple tickets. They ain't for one ticket. You're supposed to get that type of fine. Then if you don't pay, pay it, it doubles. It doubles. If you don't show up to court, well, it doubles. That that's crazy. Why I need to double if you don't show up to court? Who knows? That's Tiffany's policy. I I can't answer that. Oh, I'd be so happy when this when this woman is finally taken down, mm. and I want I want her to be arrested. I'm waiting for the handcuffs. I I want to see that video when she getting arrested. I want to see she gonna look like what 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 what, what? I'm the mayor. 
I'm the mayor. You can't arrest me. I'm the mayor. Uh, make sure you grab my thyroid medication. Uh, <laughs> I said it. If you, if you said something else like that one more time, I'll swan it. Is that right? Now, like right, I said, uh, it's going to be a, a, a happy day. I know some of those people in Dalton mm -hmm. will be happy that something is finally done. I mean, mm -hmm. they, put that, they put that criminal in office now. They, they put the criminal in there. And when you put a thief in the office, mm -hmm. what does the thief do? Steal. Yeah. Destroy the town. Yes. She almost like Satan comes still kill and destroy. She's doing a good <laughs> job of it. Yes, she is. Mm. Well, I I don't have anything else to say, uh, fellas. What, what no, I don't about? think there's nothing more we can really say on this. I mean, I ain't got nothing. Except for the dogs are about to get a <laughs> dog collar on. Oh, yellow yeah, about to be taken down. <laughs> well, it, it's about time. No, she's she's a cross between old yellow and Cujo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, Kuto was a, was a big old St. No, not St. Bernard. Yeah, well, yeah. well St. Bernard. Well, she got big old St. Bernard personality. <laughs> With her little leprechaun hand she got. Well, now, wait a minute. That's yeah. Cujo uh, got leprechaun <laughs> hands, got frog eyes. She's all of the above. Wow. She's a hybrid. <laughs> Who's her mama messing around with? A hybrid man. <laughs> probably, probably Smokey. You know what I'm saying? Smokey. Oh, I, oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, Smokey from PJs. Oh, I thought he was going to Smokey the I, Bear. I ain't got much off the offer, but I do got this D. You know what I'm saying? Um, whatever. <laughs> anyway, go down there and, and hit that thumbs up button. Come on, people. Stop, stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, come on now. Come on. Give me a thumbs up. You know, give me a thumbs down. Anymore. Give me something. Uh -huh. But uh, comment. Let me know what you think about, oh, the FBI finally, finally doing something about old Teflon Tiff. They probably had surveillance on the whole time they were waiting for. Yeah, we, yeah we, just, we just didn't know about it. Probably, probably. Well, until we meet again, folks. Well, be blessed. And we out. Till next time. Yeah.